Lovely. I am your one and your only lady of crochet, Lady Simone, and we are back with another video. Hello. <laughs> okay, y'all. As always, I'm super excited to do this video. I decided to make it a everything that I crocheted this week plus some stuff that I'm working on plus some stuff other than my love plush that I did this week. And I was so happy. I accomplished a lot this week. I was like, look at you, look at you. So before I get started though, I want to congratulate the winners. I'm not gonna put it on here because I want y'all to watch the video that Priscilla from Distinctive Crochet have um, up on her channel. And she announces the winners of the love plush pattern. I'm super excited to get those email out to you all. Um, man, I'm just like stoked. I was like, what? <laughs> I didn't even know what to say, y'all. I was so stoked. Like, that is so cool to like actually just win the love plush pattern. And I'm excited to email that out. I'm excited that Priscilla decided to do the giveaway on her channel. I think that was, that's the embodiment of love plush. Okay. Like, love plush is just like showing love and us spreading love all over the world and for her to even want it to do the giveaway listen that's love y'all that's love that's what love plush is all about so i'm excited to email the love plush pattern and also i'm excited to show y'all what i did this week so y'all i hope y'all i don't know if y'all are crocheting something i don't know I don't know what y'all are doing listening to me probably like listen this girl out. i'm gonna just have to drink some coffee or some tea when i listen to her <laughs> i don't know i don't know but whatever it is i hope that you guys enjoy the video and we're gonna get right into it now i started a project i did not get um finished with it but i thought it was a very cool project so i'm making a skirt for my daughter now y'all gonna have to help me with this because this is um this is how far i've gotten of course i gotta make it a lot longer because uh let's see she can't have no mini mini but i think it's gonna be really cute i'm envisioning it with some um some leggings since it's cold we can put some leggings on and she can have a nice little cute little skirt and then in the summertime she can also wear it just with um just like without the leggings probably put some shorts on under and i think it's a cute little make um now one thing i would say because this i measured it the exact same way they said measure and did the um waist but it's um it's a waist uh that something i have to crochet something that goes around here like the waistband and hopefully it stretches out a little more because when i told my daughter i'm like hey slide this on let me see real quick how the measurements are right y'all listen <laughs> Baby girl, baby girl, listen, it, it went up a little bit. I was just like, mm, hopefully that waist will give us a little bit of what we need to help us. But if not, if it does not fit her, I'm pretty sure I could find someone who can fit the skirt and I just do her a whole nother one. It's, it's all right. It's all right. I'm going to finish it though. I'm going to finish it. And like I said, if it doesn't fit her, I'll just start another one and give this one away. But I am using, just in case anyone, because I thought this was really cute yarn, like, it gives me, it's like the colors are like fun. It's like beautiful. So I used the I Love This Yarn um, from Hobby Lobby. I did like a um, unboxing with a whole bunch of Hobby Lobby. I have it in here. A whole bunch of Hobby Lobby yarns that I did. Um, what's it? Oh, it's called City Beat. Look at that. Okay, so it's I Love This Yarn, super soft, super saving. And a city beat. Now, when you look at it, it does give you just that like upbeat, like hello sunshine type feel. So I know she's absolutely gonna love this. So hopefully everything turned out well when I put the band. And when I'm finished it, I'll come back and show you all how it turned out. So I'm working on this, and of course, you know I love it because of the ruffles, y'all. Look, it's it's just it's so cute. So, anyways, I did that project. Then my aunt called me and told me that she needed a all black ruffle hat so i made that and I, I absolutely love the all black ruffles so this is one that i did this week and i have to mail it to her which i'm gonna get that in the mail by this week so that um i got something there so 
so that she can have this but i absolutely love the ruffles now when i make my ruffle hats i don't go with the big dramatic ruffles when i'm making it for other people because it takes so long to do the big dramatic ruffles like um i have one here this is the hat that i wear <clears throat> when i'm out and about if i want to put on i got something attached to it uh oh it's some yarn attached to it i'm sorry this is the one that I wear when I'm out and about. And this one, I did like more so the dramatic ruffles because, hey, let's, why not? <laughs> I love, I know not everybody love their ruffles to be like ruffle, ruffle, but I do. So when I'm out and about, I wear this beauty. It's like beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is mine. But when I make ruffle hats, like for my family members and friends, I make it with the less like ruffles i don't make it as full so this is the black one and i have to make another black one for my mom and y'all i use this right here now i wanted to get this one to my mom i'm gonna have to ask her how she feel about this one because i know it could be a bit much <laughs> like just look at that it's like shining but there's a thing behind it when i i look i was looking through the yarn and i said i want to make her something special outside of like the solid colors that she want because she want a black one and she want me to make her a white one so i wanted to sneak in like a little i don't know something different and i looked at this yarn and i was just like i think i should do this one now way back in the days <laughs> way back in the days growing up when i was a child <clears throat> excuse me um my mom was first lady now my father passed away um uh, when i was very young so but <clears throat> he was a pastor and my mom i remember us buying her and him i don't care what holiday it was he was getting a new suit she was getting like these big church lady hats and my mom was like church lady hat out like she used to wear church lady hats so i remember when i first started making the ruffle hats i used to always say the ruffle hats reminded me of church lady hats for some reason so when i got this one i was sitting there like oh this yarn kind of remind me really of like those jazzy church ladies like old school like i'm telling you like you'll be like if you you just had to be there to know how important a church lady hat was back in the day now not a lot of people wear them as much because you know different times just change but back then hats was like the thing and this remind me of that so not to ramble on because i got so excited when i made it hopefully she likes it i wanted to make my mom something different so this is one of three of hers because i gotta make two more of the white and the um black so those were the things those were the hats that i made now let's get into these love plush because i made this love plush here and I used, I wanted to see how it would be when I used the different yarn for this one. I used the, um, uh, it's a Hobby Lobby yarn that I had in my stash. And it's not a Chanel type yarn. It's just like a um, chunky yarn. And I really, really like, it was like baby dots or something like that. But it reminds me so much of like, um, you know, like the little sprinkles and stuff like that. And our confetti, like. I don't know it just reminded me that but then when i looked at it, i said this would be a cute little love plus gender reveal type um decoration type thing i don't know i just thought it was cute so one thing i did i would say with this yarn i had a little difficult time <laughs> so we got my heart on the my the little heart bump on the side but i got it together nonetheless it still turned out pretty and i really think um she's very beautiful because i put like some pink little glitter eyes on this one and i thought it matched really really well and if you see i crochet i get up super early in the mornings like that's just like my piece <laughs> that's my quiet time and i'll pick up my hook most of the times like nine times out of ten um i begin crocheting very early in the morning because i like to crochet when it's very quiet and it's like all the kids are sleeping you know i just like that quietness and i get my love plush um i get most of them done before the actual day starts my actual actual day 
and I finish them throughout the day. You'll see them as shorts on my YouTube channel. So that was a goal of mine this year was to create a little more shorts and then make a full video. So if you ever see um, a plushie that I make throughout the week and be like, huh, you want to know a little more? Come on to the end of the week, either Saturday or Sunday, I'm going to post a video like this. And we're going to talk about these love plushies. So this was one that I made this week. Um... Then I did a blue one, an all blue one for, to me, I wanted to show like the simplicity, but yet it's so cute that you can still make love plush in any color. Like they're so versatile. It's like you can use any color, the different types of yarns, you know, but this one reminds me more so of like a blueberry pop. So I was just like, I wanted to just make it so simple, but yet so cute. And I went with this little guy here and I got the glitter eyes, but in the eyes, you can see some of that blue that pops with this one. So I thought that was super cute too. So we have little blueberry guy here, <laughs> cute little smile. And this just turned out so cute to me. I really, I don't know, it's the simple things that just mean so much. And this was one of them for me this week. So we got him. I did um, the Animal Crossing character, Bertha. Now, I wanted to talk about Bertha because this one, like, now, let's get this. I'm going to tell y'all this right now, too. A lot of the ones that you will see on my channel where I'm doing Animal Crossing, because like I said before, I love Animal Crossing. I absolutely adore Animal Crossing. And what better way was to put combine my two loves? So Love Plush, Animal Crossing. Now, one thing I would say as I'm making these Animal Crossing characters, y'all, I'm on a whim out here. I'm just doing the best that I can. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, I'm looking at them like, oh, I done messed this up. I done messed it all the way up. You know what I'm saying? But after I finish them, I'm like, I have to push myself nine times out of ten to even post a short to show you all. Because I'm like, no, I don't want to post this one. This ain't it. So I have to kick myself and say, no, you're going to do it. So that's the message within the video. Like, whatever it is that you're doing, y'all, just push and, and, and share it. Because at the end of the day, you did it, you tried it, and listen, everybody may not like it, but there's going to be somebody that be like, girl, what you talking about? <laughs> like, a lot of times we are our hardest, hardest critic is what I'm really trying to say. We are so hard on ourselves, and we don't have to be, because we're putting one foot in front of the other, and we're trying, and that's all that matters. And when I started this channel, that's all that I wanted to do was share my love of crochet with everyone who wanted to subscribe to my channel and be a part of my crochet family i'm not in competition i'm not like trying to say hey i want this i want you know what i just want to spread my love with crochet and hopefully inspire someone else because guess what that's what it's all about if i can put a smile on one person's face each video guess what y'all hmm. I'm doing it. I am doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So that's all that matters to me. So I'm not going to blab it on. But this is Bertha. <laughs> Bertha in the Animal Crossing game is one of my favorite characters. And I like Bertha because, quick story. I, um, I'm from the country, 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 country. So you can hear it in my accent before I would try to try to hide it. Because some people would say it's not professional. It's this right here. Listen. We're not going to go down that rabbit hole. You're going to, what you see is what you get. If you see me on any day of the week, this is who you're going to get. I don't change for no one. I can't keep up with changing and all that. So what you see is what you get. And I learned how to love who I am and to love my roots, where I came from, and everything of that nature. So Bertha is a character that I used to do. And I always would say, it reminds me of like the old school aunties back home. That would be like, hey girl, come here. Where you doing? Where you going? And when I saw a character in Animal Crossing that's Bertha, I was like, I gotta make it. <laughs> so this is Bertha. I was so excited about making Bertha and she is one of my absolute favorites. And it's means so much to me. So this is my Bertha character here. And I did Maple from Animal Crossing because um, <clears throat> someone asked me in the comments to um make maple because that was their favorite animal crossing character and i was just like huh i'm gonna give it a go right y'all mm, maple done gave me a go <laughs> i'm sorry 
maple done turned me all the way upside down, y'all. I was just like, listen, mm, maple, mm, I love you in the game. You're like cutest little bear ever. But I had such a difficult time. As you can see, I didn't like the fact that these were protruding a little more on the sides. But I was like, hey, this is how it came to me. I got to do it, right? Y'all, I did it and, you know... I'm not even going to critique it as in like the things that I say, oh, no, I don't like this. Oh, no, this right here. We ain't going to do that. We, gonna, we Look, it's 2024. We're going to stop being hard on ourselves and we're going to appreciate the fact that we actually did it. So this is maple and this is the beautiful, adorable, amazing maple. Okay. <laughs> Challenges and all. <laughs> we just going to speak the good. Okay. So this right here and I ended up, she has a shirt on in the game where Christmas tree type or a pine tree on it. So I put it on the back and this is my version of that right there. So of course I know that each character is not going to look identical to the animal crossing character because it's a love plush love plush has its own identity and i'm just making things in the likeness of you know so this is my version of that and i put like if you see on the card it has like her little hair thingy here i thought that was absolutely cute too because i was just like okay how can i make that on this so if you look a little close you can see kind of like a little 3d effect of what i was trying to go with but hey listen <laughs> we got her <laughs> We got her. So this is the adorable maple from the game Animal Crossing, my version of maple. So here we go. And then last but not least, I wanted to do another simple type love plush. And y'all, I fell in love all over again. I fell in love all over again with this beautiful pink love plush. And I went with the pink glitter eyes for her. And I used some, um, I ordered some, let me think. Oh, michael's um oh it's gonna come to me michael's it's the loops and threads i think i forgot what it's called it's something light it's it's their chanel version and i used it it is a little bigger than the um joanne's yarn which i'm gonna go story i think i'm so spoiled with the joanne's um new posh posh yarns only thing is with that i wish they would give us some more colors we need some more colors because listen whenever they drop more colors i'm getting all the colors because that yarn is so easy to work with when i work with this one i had a little bit of that little frill and I, I didn't like that i did not like that and i think because with the posh yarn you don't really have that separation so i got a little spoiled with that i guess and i was just like hmm but this still turned out so cute like this is adorable this is so so cute so what i did was y'all look at that patch on the back oh this right here is you can hear it's the um embroidered patch that i went with on the back of love plush now there you'll see some of them that i'm going to start doing like this where i have a solid color and i put like a little surprise on the back i thought that was absolutely cute and i found these in broader patches on um etsy and excuse me the shop that i use she has some beautiful beautiful ones so i was like i think this would be cute now you're going to see my sister asked me to make some um love plush for her co-workers for valentine's day so i'm gonna make some love plushes for them and i was just like i want to make them like with a little twist but not too much like overdo or whatever so what i'm going to do is make them in solid colors and put little cute little hearts on the back but the hearts are going to be like the candy hearts and i thought i already got the patches for them y'all they're going to be cute so i'm going to make her some of those for valentine's get those shipped out and she works at a bank so you know they put these little things on their little stands and stuff love plush is going to be on display y'all <laughs> i'm sorry love plush is going to be on it y'all look at that so i'm excited about doing that so y'all will definitely see that sometimes in probably the first week in february i start doing that so i can go ahead and get that mailed out to her so with all of that being said y'all this is everything that i crocheted this week everything that i'm working on this week i want y'all to tell me in the comments below what are y'all working on what are y'all most excited about working on if y'all did a love plus y'all oh share it share it share it and i want to say too i do have i think it's mine for crafts why didn't i i'm gonna put it i'm gonna scroll it 
across when I show y'all the picture because she emailed me and I have um a picture of her love plush that she did y'all I'm gonna put it in the video oh I don't know how to listen I don't take notes and I need to take notes so that way I can remember what I'm supposed to say in the videos y'all but guess what sometimes it comes back to me so I always tell people J -j -j don't it be like charge my heart not my mind i mean charge my mind not my heart i don't want y'all to charge anything y'all could listen <laughs> i want y'all just to understand that sometimes it comes it goes and it come right on back but i'm gonna put up her love plush um in this video so cute so so cute so cute y'all and thank everyone again for subscribing to my channel if you have not subscribed go ahead and Click that button. No need missing out. Click it. Thank you, Priscilla, for the giveaway. Congratulations to everyone who won the pattern. And as always, y'all, I am your one and your only Lady of Crochet, Lady Simone. And I will see you next time.